Hello, my lovely Pisces. Happy Friday, guys. This is your TGIF for Friday, the 26th of Jan, 2024. So Pisces, if you're ready, let's jump in. Let's find out how your person feels about you, what's on their mind at this point of time. The deck that I'm using is the Arcanum Tarot. Everything you need, guys, is down below. The link to my website if you'd like a private reading, information on joining the channel and all the decks I use. OK, Pisces, here we go. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF reading for my Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, masculine or feminine. What have we got for my lovely Pisces? Friday the 26th of Jan, moving into the weekend and a fresh new week. Thank you, Michael. I don't know why Pisces, I'm hearing whirlwind of emotion. You could feel very emotional. Let's see, guys. Six of Wands. Victory and success. It could be Pisces that you feel as if someone's moving towards you that you've wanted to be with for quite a long time. And this is you feeling finally, you know. Seven of Wands. Okay. King of Swords. Three of Cups. Okay. Death card. <laughs> wow, Pisces, really? Okay. Goodness me. All right. Pisces, I feel as if with the Six of Wands and the Seven of Wands, this is you, happy little Pisces, getting on with your day-to-day -day duties, responsibilities, your work. You could be well-known on social media. You could have an all-consuming career. Out of nowhere, we've got someone coming in, wanting to reunite with you. And this is someone who's saying, I've changed my situation or I want to transform the connection with you, Pisces. But I think, Pisces, you may feel this person's being a bit strategic. And I think this is you putting up strong boundaries, saying to this person, no, I think you're actually just wanting a little bit of fun. This is over. I'm concentrating on me now. I'm concentrating on my career. Yes. Pisces, two of swords, you are not playing. This is you saying, hell no, I had enough problems with you in the past. Queen of Swords. Now, if you're a masculine, you're calling this feminine out. If you're a feminine Pisces, you, I think, are sat in the Queen of Swords. This is no way. No way. Ten of Pentacles. Um, Pisces, you may be dealing with somebody who's still in a relationship or it could be that you feel this person wants to be with you and is being strategic because they see you doing pretty well financially. Six of Cups. Pisces, yes, this is somebody from your past. What you're thinking about is I can't bear for this cycle to happen all over again. I've just got myself straight. I'm really happy. I'm completely balanced in my energies and I don't want this person again. Oh, no, 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 no. But they're coming back in. Tower. Ace of Swords. Six of Swords. King of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Yeah, yeah. Pisces, what I get here is you feeling a bit shell-shocked. You did not expect this person to come back in. As far as you were concerned, this was completely done. 
with the energy of the Six of Swords, what you're saying to this person is, I have already moved to calmer waters. This is over. You may also be saying to this person, Pisces, King of Pentacles, if you're a feminine, I think you're just wanting me to sit in the Queen of Wands. I think you're just wanting a third party situation with me. You're still in a relationship. Or Pisces, if you're a masculine, what you're saying to this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords is you're being strategic. You're trying to use your feminine wiles to seduce me into taking you back because you see me sat in the Ten of Pentacles. You're basically wanting me to support you again financially and I'm not doing it. No, no, no. This is done. Pisces. Underneath the deck, guys, we've got the Empress. Wow. Ten of Cups. Nine of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Yeah. So, for my girls out there, Pisces, you know that this masculine has already got an Empress. They're sitting in the Ten of Cups. And this is you thinking, not again. They're trying their luck again. They basically want to juggle me with their wife. No, I'm not going to be this person's Queen of Wands. No way. You're putting up boundaries. If you're a masculine, this could very well be an ex-wife or baby mama who may see you earning the money and they're coming back to try and seduce you because maybe they're going through a bit of a tough time financially. Maybe this person is juggling money. Or oh, I know, I'll go back and seduce my Pisces, right? Whoever you are on the mix, Pisces, I think you are putting up really strong boundaries, guys. Wow. Okay. Let's dip into the Lighted Pathway. So what have you got, Michael, from the Lighted Pathway for my lovely Pisces? Thank you, Michael. Oh, he's saying that's it. All right. So my gorgeous Pisces, let's have a look. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Pisces, this person's coming back to you to say, I really miss you, Pisces. Oh my goodness, I miss you. They may be saying to you, I'm moving to your area. So if you guys were at any type of distance, this person is saying, I want to move to make this work. I want to be with you. What they're saying is, I am taking responsibility for my actions. I have changed. I'm ending a situation or I'm not sitting in overindulgence anymore. I want to be loyal to you, Pisces. I want to be loyal to you, is what this person's saying. So they weren't loyal before or they dragged you into a third party. Pisces, this person... It's going to say to you, I think this will be wonderful. I believe you're the love of my life. But Pisces, you simply see this person as being strategic, male or female. This is you putting up your boundaries. You're concentrating on your career. And this is you saying, hell no, I don't think so. Yeah. So guys, let's move into messages. Let's see what this person would want to say to you. Here we go. Love messages. So Archangel Michael, what would this person want to relate to Pisces, please? What would this person want to relate to Pisces? They're saying they're trying to be someone you can trust, which means, Pisces, you could not trust this person before. I like the way it's worded. I'm sorry I'm being a bit sarcastic. I'm trying to be someone you can trust, as if it's a massive effort for them to be faithful or loyal. Hmm... I've never loved anyone the way I love you. No doubt that's true, Pisces. Yeah, other people were interfering and trying to control me. Well, that could be if you're a feminine, a masculine saying, oh, my wife wouldn't let me go. She was being very difficult. Well, it's easy, right? It's easy to get divorced. It's easy to say to somebody, I'm sorry, it's over. This person simply blaming other people. This card fell in my lap. I feel so guilty about my actions and what I said to you. Mm. 
I will take action soon. Please believe in me. Pisces, this is someone who is saying, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the person you trust. I'm going to move to be with you. I'm going to be totally loyal. I'm going to step up. I'm going to lead that karmic. But Pisces, this person wasn't trustworthy before. And I have to say, there's a strong indication they're being strategic and they're still hanging on to their relationship, right? Now, if you're a masculine and this is an ex wanting to come back, they see you sat in the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles and they're thinking, hell, I'm going to go back to Pisces because I'm juggling two pentacles. I'm running out of money here, so uh, let's seduce Pisces, right? Hmm. I didn't understand what this connection really is. I mean, this is just woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah, I shouldn't have let you go. Please forgive me. I know I messed up. I think it's done, guys. I think you're done. I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. I mean, Pisces, it's up to you. I mean, if you want to give this person a chance, sure. But I feel with these energies coming out that your reaction is, oh, no, no. I've already faced a lot of problems with you. And I'm sorry, I just don't want to go back there again. But from here, Pisces, let's move into the second spread. Let's have a look and see the future of this connection. Is it really done? Can it be sorted out? Can you trust this person again? So guys, let's move into that now, okay? All right, my beautiful Pisces, let's see whether or not this is actually going to work out. This is the legacy of the divine and let's find out. Let's delve in. So Archangel Michael, can Pisces trust this person? Are they going to step up? Have they learned their lessons? Or is Pisces destined to walk away? What is the future of the connection, Michael? Thank you future of the connection to Pisces. All right, guys, cars are slippery. Okay, slippery fish is what I'm actually hearing. Do you think this person's just being a bit wily? Mm. King of Pentacles. So Pisces, as a masculine, you could be sat in the King of Pentacles as a single masculine, doing well, having detached from an ex-partner. Pisces, this could be somebody wanting to commit to you who could be an earth sign. The Hermit. Strong Virgo energy. You're doing some soul searching about this person. Nine of Wands. But what... You come to the conclusion about is that this just makes you feel burdened. Queen of Cups. Now for my feminines, you're sat in the Queen of Cups. It may be a little bit difficult because it could well be that you know you've got feelings for this person. As a masculine, you don't know if you trust this person. Do they love you? Or are they playing you because they see you as somebody financially stable? Seven of Swords. Pisces, I don't think you trust this person. What you're thinking about is they may have lied to you and deceived you in the past. They may have ghosted you. They may have broken your heart. You just don't trust them. That's the problem. The chemistry is probably still there. The emotions are probably still there. But you're looking at the past and all you're remembering is the stress that this person caused you. And so this is you in the future, maybe believing that you're doing the right thing in pushing this person away. Three of Wands. The Hangman. This is your energy, Pisces. The Seven of Wands. Again. Ace of Swords. Yep. Yeah. Pisces, I think it's done. I think it's done. With the Three of Wands, Pisces, and the Hangman, 
This is you looking into your future, ready to embrace change. You're looking at the bigger picture. You've realised that this person emotionally kept you stuck for so long. I think with the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Swords, you know that you're making the right decision in detaching from them. You're ready for a new cycle, Pisces, and if they continue to message you, I think you are going to continue to be sat in this defensive energy. You're standing your ground. You're standing your ground, guys. Two of Wands. Ten of Cups. Seven of Cups. King of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Nice. Pisces. Guys, for some of you, this is you standing at crossroads in your life, thinking to yourself, I do want to be in a relationship. Ten of Cups. With the Seven of Cups, you may look at options. It could well be that you start dating. With a King of Wands, if you're a masculine, you're on fire. You are already checking out the women in your area to see who you may want to date. You're going for it. If you're a feminine Pisces, you may well be swept off your feet by an Aries, Leo or Sag, who, with a page of pentacles, is wanting to date you. Gorgeous energy. So guys, whoever you are in the mix, I think this is you standing your ground. Yep, I think you are firmly looking to the future. Yep, underneath the deck, Four of Cups. It's as if you're just not interested anymore. They're acting as if they're giving you this love from the divine. Oh, Pisces were meant to be together. You're looking at it thinking, yeah, I don't trust what's in that cup. I'm not sure I want to take that. Thank you very much. Because Nine of Swords. Whoever this person is caused you so much stress and anxiety in the past, Pisces. It's as if you just can't possibly go there again. I can't do it. I feel with the Eight of Pentacles, you're going to be concentrating on work, building up your finances. And with the energy of the High Priestess, I don't think you're going to speak to this person again. This is you cutting off communication and following your own path. That's what I think you're going to do. You are using your intuition to realise you're better off turning your back, concentrating on you, knowing that someone else is going to come in in the future. Beautiful Pisces, good for you. Okay guys, let's move into the Oracle of Mystical Moments. Here we go guys, this is the Oracle of Mystical Moments. It's a beautiful deck, it's actually new to me. <laughs> So Archangel Michael, what is the guidance from the divine for my beautiful Pisces, please? Thank you. What is your guidance? Treasured memories. Pisces, what you're realising is you will never forget this person. There were some good times. Look back and treasure the memories that were good with this person whilst letting them go. Okay, Remember the good times, but turn your back and say, I don't think this is a good idea. Okay. Keys on trees. Pisces, this is someone who I feel brought a lot of stress into your life. You had to build a very strong defense against this person and what they're saying is, your home is your castle. Take care of your own stability. With a four and a nine, with a four and a nine, which breaks down to 13, which of course is four, think about your own stability. Think about your own foundation. This is someone who wants to somehow get into this tower. No. You're not giving them the keys to your castle, Pisces. Not again, right? Concentrate on you. Final card for my Pisces. White Rose of Hope. Pisces, this is beautiful. This is you hanging on to the hope of pure love, real love. You don't want to be dealing with somebody who wasn't honest with you. 
who lied to you, manipulated you. Hang on for change. Three is change. Zero is the God force number. The divine is saying to you, love will come into your life, Pisces. Hang on in there. Okay. Don't give up hope. All right, Pisces. One last card. Michael's asking me to. Okay. Transformation. Pisces, spread your wings. You've evolved. You've grown. You've learned your lessons. It's time for you to leave the past behind. Transformation. I don't feel this person's on your path. I think they would like to pretend that they are. But I believe, Pisces, you're now moving in a completely different direction. I think someone new is going to come in. As soon as you let this person go emotionally for good, I think you're going to be meeting someone new. So, guys. Closing, of course, with a message from Archangel Michael. So, Archangel Michael, may we have your closing message of guidance for my lovely Pisces. Thank you, Michael. For my lovely Pisces. Make a commitment. Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. Pisces, Archangel Michael is saying commit to yourself, your life, your divine purpose. Let this person go. They're not meant to be in your life, okay? All right, guys. I am leaving the reading there. Take care of you. Have a fantastic weekend. And I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon, Pisces. Bye now.